Uh, we should all feel very proud of what Māori are achieving. Tonight's main purpose, of course, is to recognise and to celebrate Māori excellence and success in business. Something that delves deep into our own hiningaro, where we have to stand up and challenge ourselves, challenge our friends, and challenge a host of other barriers that stand in the way of entrepreneurial spirit. It is not only rarely found, it is a tremendously difficult spirit to keep alive in the face of adversity. When I started this journey, I saw a pretty clear path ahead of me. But in reality, it was a mountain trek. And the good thing about the mountain trek is that I could look back and see how far I had come. And the best thing about it was I could look ahead and see how far I had to go. There's a number of reasons that I fight for financial literacy in our communities, for Aotearoa. Some of them are trenched in data, um, statistics, quite removed from the individual, and others are closely intertwined with what I see right beside me in society. And, and I know what I value is truly important because of that. I've talked about in the last couple of weeks the Māori worldview and Māori values. In fact, I was challenged by a former minister on such a thing. He said to me, how do you really know? How do you know there's a Māori worldview? And I'm not sure that my answer was particularly satisfying for a said minister, but uh, I said to him that I was as sure of the Māori worldview as the air that I was breathing. And I know this because it's about our values. And yes, they manifest themselves in different ways, depending on who we are and the experiences that we have in life. But at the end of the day, those values are what got us to this point. There's no way that we would have survived our history without them. And there is categorically no way that we will survive our future without them. What Māori have demonstrated is that the competitive edge of culture actually matters more in a global society now than ever before. For me, the ICP, is, is its foundation is Ehara te ika no iho ko tātou a tātou tonu. It's not about the fish, it's about us. And if we can keep us together, then uh, we're going to be more successful. It is important to understand the immense value and lessons that are available through the teachings and wisdom of those who have come before us. But equally, in understanding the role we have um, in nurturing and supporting those who will follow after us. I received some advice. It was unsolicited advice, which often the best is. Um, and it was simple advice. It was to build the world that I wanted to be in. And I feel really privileged that I get to do that every day. Um, because the wonderful thing is, is that the world is mutable. It's open to change. Um, through courage, through conviction, through perseverance, through sacrifice, we can shape the world to be absolutely whatever we want it to be. We've got to set the bar sky high for ourselves and aim for an equitable, inclusive, dynamic, prosperous future for Māori. If we want to make forward steps in the Māori economy, we have to invest in our people and our capabilities and our education. So our capability does catch up with our potential. I hope that my games will motivate inspire and educate. I hope that what I do inspires and motivates people to look at using the gaming platform as another platform to tell our stories. Rachel talked earlier about 40% Māori have in seafood, 50%, 30% in other primary sectors. What would happen if we actually worked together as iwi? So, no reira, uh, kei te tika te korere o i o tātou tūpuna, a whaia te te kahurangi ki te tūoho koe me he maunga teitei. Aim for the highest clouds so that if you miss it, you will hit a lofty mountain. Nā ko te kōrero whakamutua i tēnei whakamihi. 
Kutaku toa harai te toa takitahi Nā reira i te whāna Ko tau katoa e, Me whai nei tātau i nei kaupapa Tau tokongi e te whāna au e pū āwai ai Ko rirohia te reo E ora ai Whakatū teiwi e mana ai. Nā reira, tēnā kūtau, tēnā kūtau, tēnā tātou katoa. <coughs>